Hey, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at GLMR. I do want to say that I'm not a financial advisor. You should do your own research before investing money into crypto. Also, I want to mention the two donation links down below in the description. Feel free to support Ukraine. You can support the Ukrainian refugees. You can support Ukraine's military or both if you decide to. And the links are obviously official. You can double, triple check them. They have nothing to do with me personally. The funds do not go through me in any sort of way. So yeah, that's that's uh, that's a possibility for you to help if you are looking to do so. But also, I want to make sure that you have watched the previous update on GLMR. The link is going to be in the top right hand corner of the video. Watch that before watching this one so that you have more context. Now, jumping into the daily chart, we obviously have our Fibonacci retracement set up with the swing high all the way up here, January 14th at 16 and uh, at $16 roughly. And you do have your swing low all the way down here, February 20th, $1.80. And we are slowly but surely approaching this swing low over here. You do have a support trend line, a rather strong support trend line below you at $2.21. So I would set some buy limit orders in this zone, but slightly above it. Okay, not the exact support level, but slightly above it, because a lot of people are going to set up the same support level and they're going to set their buy limit orders at this exact price. And, you know, it, it may be a bit tougher to fill that order. Now, having said that, you can actually lose that support trend line and come all the way down to $1.82 because as you can see, these are just two wicks and they're getting bought up pretty quickly. So potentially, once you see yourself below this level, it would be good to stack up some more GLMR tokens because you're probably going to get bought up just like you did these two times over here. So look out for that. You are potentially looking for a back test of resistance of the 20 EMA. You haven't touched it since April 22nd, which is quite a long time. And the gap in between the 20 EMA, which is the yellow line, and the 55 EMA is getting bigger and bigger. And that is uh, quite positive in a way, because once the gap is that big, you tend to see a reversal in the price action. Now, obviously, it all depends on Bitcoin. You can have whatever you want. You can have whatever setup you have on 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 your altcoin chart but if bitcoin decides to crap the bed then uh you know the majority of the altcoins are going down with bitcoin that's just the way it is so hopefully uh you can look for a bit of a swing trade here so let's say you enter from uh, off of this two dollar 21 cent support and you look to take some profits at the one point at the is that the third fib level actually i think these yeah that's the 0 0.236 okay so that will be a nice 38% trade. You can look for a bounce off the 20 EMA as resistance. That would be some somewhere between 30 to 35% uh, trade because the EMAs do move, obviously, with the price action. So the 20 EMA is going to go lower as the price goes even lower. Okay, so that's just a potential swing trade you can look for. Uh, but obviously, I wouldn't be taking any profits from my crypto personally right now, and I'm not doing that. Uh, I am simply trying to buy as much as I can right now and trying to dollar cost average. Long term, you do have these targets over here. You have one target at $4.17. You have another target, which is the golden ratio here at $7. This is an important level for us to break in order for us to retrace to the swing high. Once you break the golden ratio, you can be almost certain that you are going to retrace all the way back to the all-time high here at $16.05. Above that, we have the 0 0.786 at $10 and 0 0.6 or 6 cents, I should say. And that is another resistance level. So from where we are right now, that is a 298% trade if you take some profits at the 786. And if you look at the previous all-time high, you have a 543% profit potential. And yeah, this is this is what this is what these downtrends provide an opportunity. Okay, and look at this potential setup that we have over here. You have this low, obviously. Okay, so you don't want to lose this low. 
right? You have this low. You do not want to lose that. You had this actually nice double bottom pattern here. And, you know, you had the neckline. You obviously broke through it. The target was met. I think the target would have been somewhere near the 0.382 over here, $4.16. The target was obviously met and then some. But this overall trading area is a swing low and you're setting another swing low here. So if we bounce off the 2.21 um, cents over here and we have a move to the upside, you have yourself a neckline over here at the 0 0.5. And once you break that, you're going to have a target all the way potentially back up to the uh, 786, I want to say. Let's actually measure the target right now. So from where we are over here all the way to there, let me get that straight up. There we go. So that would be slightly above the 786, but you can just target the uh, 786. So yeah, that's something that I'm looking uh, at. Uh, it, obviously, if Bitcoin starts crashing back down, we're going to lose this uh, support trend line and we're going to set some fibs to the downside, obviously. But yeah, jumping into the daily RSI, you do have these two trend lines. We've bounced from these trend lines multiple times before. And right now, it seems like, like you're going to lose the uh, the uh, the trend lines here. 37.6 is your lowest one over here, uh, the bottom one. And potentially, if you lose it, you have two support levels to look out for. OK, you have one here. And you have another one over here. So let's see if we can potentially get a bounce from either of these. If you don't and you go even lower, then you can look for, uh, you know, you can look to dollar cost average. Obviously, if you're looking for the long term, the lower the price is, the better for you. So you can potentially set a couple of uh, one limit order here, one limit order here. If you come all the way down here and you get oversold, buy as much as you can down here because this is the best time to be buying. Imagine you bought in here and you sold here. Obviously, you can never catch the bottom and the, and the top. But still, buying when the asset is oversold is something that you should be uh, you should be doing if you want to be uh, if you want to maximize your potential profits. Okay, switching over to the daily chart on Binance, the stochastic RSI is starting to recover from the oversold. Okay, so you're still you're still good to to enter in my opinion because you haven't had that much price action over here, but the stochastic is starting to recover, which could mean that the pullback may be over, but once again, you always have to keep Bitcoin in mind. The RSI is relatively low. Let's take a look at the MACD, and the MACD is getting pretty overextended to the downside here. As you can see, this is how overextended the MACD can get. Look at this. You had a bullish cross February 26th, and you had a bearish cross April 10th. As you can see, so for almost two months, you were in this huge uptrend on the MACD. And, and as you can see, this is. This is uh, where you got the bullish cross, right? And this is where you got the bearish cross here. So I'm just saying that uh, you, you have to use all of these indicators together. And right now, the indicators are telling me that it is good to buy, okay? You can, you can simply look at the price action here and, and, you know, and understand that this is a good time to buy, right? If you bought some, some, some tokens when you were all the way up here, right? When you were in this area, then it only makes sense to dollar cost average in by buying some here, by buying some here. And if it gets lower, buy some here if you believe in the project, right? Don't buy any tokens you don't believe in, right? Because if it goes down, then you're not worried about losing your money because you are going to get that money back and you're going to make some, obviously, if you believe in the project and the project is, uh, is, is good. So we're getting rejected from the 10 EMA over here. The blue trend line is the 10 EMA. And as you can see, we just got rejected from there and you potentially can bounce off the support that I did give you uh, just recently. Let's go into the four hourly chart and look at a more closer or more smaller time frame. So uh, let me get the 55 EMA back. Oh, okay. So we got rejected from the 55 EMA here. We're coming back down and let's see if we have any sort of bullish divergences. Okay, no divergent divergences with the RSI, but what you can do is you can wait for the four hourly stochastic RSI to come back all the way down here into the oversold below the index of 30, uh, below the index of 20. I apologize on the stochastic. You have to be below the index of 20 
to be oversold and above the index of 80 to be overbought. So once you get down here, I would say that this is, you know, your best opportunity to buy into uh, into uh, GLMR at this point, right? Because we don't know if we're gonna go lower, right? We don't have any data below us. So that's going to be, you know, uncharted territories for us. But yeah, that is that is pretty much it. If I missed anything out, let me know down below in the comment section. Feel free to follow me on Patreon. It's a great way to support me. The link is in the description as well as the donation links. I'm going to catch you in the next one. Goodbye and good night.